If I asked you guys who would throw the next perfect game, who would you guys say it is? Luis Castillo, maybe Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, hell, maybe even Garrett Cole, right? Someone of that tier. Who had Domingo Herman perfect game on their 2023 bingo card? This is absolutely insane. What's going on, guys? It's the king of 161st Street. I'm back with another video, and Domingo Herman was spectacular. To be a matter of fact, he was perfect. A lot of that had to do with his curveball. His curveball was, like Jeff Nelson said on the broadcast, one of the best he's had all year, and probably the best he's ever had. Yes, it was an A's batting order, but to pitch a perfect game in Major League Baseball is probably more difficult than getting an inside the park home run. Then getting a triple play than anything you could ever think of in baseball getting a perfect game is the hardest thing there are so many factors that go into this to be perfect enough to not let up one walk is difficult enough so for domingo herman to pull this off is absolutely spectacular and for me i particularly enjoy this a lot because of how much adversity this guy has been through if you are someone who would not appreciate this that is fine, but for me, you look at this, he will always be labeled for one situation that happened in his life, and he came this close to ruining his baseball career, to ruining his relationship, and everything has come full circle. Now, he has become the 24th person to pitch a perfect game, and I couldn't be more happy for him everything i've heard he is one of the best people in that clubhouse it's a joy for me to watch this knowing how much adversity he's been through and the fact that he is taking the second chance at life and running with it i think that's the definition of being a human being is learning from mistakes and building that's what domingo herman has done in his baseball career because last year and the year before not a very good baseball player and this year even he's looked incredible at times his last two starts very bad very concerning but then he comes into this and he pitches a perfect game this is what being a human being is about you know i couldn't be happier for domingo herman to come back from all the situations everything that has happened from what happened a couple years ago to the sticky stuff earlier in the year and give us a performance that no one will forget this is etched in history people say that with no hitters and no hitters are cool but those are not history making those happen every single year a perfect game has only been done 24 times in the north of 150 year life cycle of baseball only happened 24 times now. The last one to do it was over a decade ago in 2012 by Felix Hernandez. Domingo Herman has now etched himself in history. And let's just go over the game. So the Yankees finally decided to wake their bats up the one time they didn't really need to. Which, you know, you could kind of find that ironic in a way. Giancarlo Stanton looked really good at the plate. You had Josh Donaldson who avoided a... Uh, golden sombrero getting that rbi double late ikf looked really good at the plate anthony volpe has been amazing since he switched that stance this offense was just clicking at all times and yes it is the a's that's why i wasn't even going to go over this game right i thought this was just going to be a win if we won tomorrow things would be all good from yesterday right yesterday we lose and our offense was dormant against an Oakland A's team that is last in baseball in every pitching stat. I was going to say, if we win tomorrow, everything is fine and we're good. We get out of Oakland with a series win. Domingo Herman made it so that I had to make a video today. I'm hoping this is a turning point in Domingo Herman's season and career because he probably can never replicate this night. But he can take a lot from tonight and add it into what he's done and what he's going to do because again that curveball maybe he won't have it that sharp but he can remember how he threw it where his arm was and he could try and replicate this tonight could be a turning point in domingo herman's career and i really hope it is because we're going to need someone like herman and this awesome pitching staff because judge is probably out for a while 
and we need to keep our heads above water. But tonight is all about Domingo Herman and this perfect game. Also, I have to give credit to Kyle Higashioka. He has now been a part of two no-hit events in the Yankees over the past couple years. Corey Kluber last year and now this year with Domingo Herman. So Kyle Higashioka, if you want a guy who most of the time will be a pretty average to below average catcher, but could almost guarantee you a no hitter and or perfect game, I guess this is the catcher for you. But yeah, I have to give him credit because he called a pretty good game and he also let Domingo control the game at times. Like if you watched late in that game, he was letting Domingo shake him off multiple times and going with the pitch that Domingo wanted. That is the definition of having good chemistry between each other. When there's no real argument and it's just, if the pitcher wants a pitch, the catcher should allow him to. But once the catcher calls a pitch, usually the pitcher will accept. That's the relationship they had tonight. That is part of why tonight happened, was because of that connection that they had. So, Big ups to Kyle Higashioka. Anthony Rizzo had a huge play in the fifth. That backhanded dive to save a hit. And other than that, everything else was hit pretty soft. So I can't really say there was much else going on. But anyways, quick video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.